Hi, I'm Karthik from Marketing Sales. Uh, if uh, whatever I say, that won't be enough uh, to price the GHL. GHL, uh, 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 they offer uh, in uh, very fast-paced development and uh, which which helps the uh, uh, agency owners and like um, the users to yeah, to use it efficiently. Though they are, they st they have the same pricing as they before, but the platform has evolved into a very new level, and uh, it allows you to uh, use the platform in any country uh, and uh, uh, for any niche, any industry too. Uh, the thing is, like earlier, the GHL was like a closed platform, and now with the development, it has uh, they have opened up enormous opportunity, like the case of premium triggers premium actions like inbound web book external web book and also this uh, uh, the uh, the um uh, they are uh, what they are if you are a developer you can easily understand like uh, they opened up lots of things through api2 recently they rolled out a uh, external payment integration which allows you to use your own uh, you, uh, whichever payment processor you are using you can integrate uh, with go high level that that uh, that enable you to you that enables us to use go high level in any country earlier they offered only the stripe and after that they rolled out uh, other other uh, integrations like paypal authorize nmi but those are platforms very specific to us if you wish to use the ghl from other uh, from other countries then you need to use your own um, uh, country specific payment process right for that this integration would be helpful we uh, at marketing sales closely follow all the developments and we develop uh, killer add-ons for uh, go high level agency owners uh, uh, you might know go high level offers razor pay integration with ghl but uh, there are limitations like these are the the, the razor pay integration doesn't allow you to uh, allow you to charge SaaS and like uh, paid deposits for paid appointments uh, those are some limitations already we uh, reported by uh, some of our clients but we wanted to build uh, uh, a integrated different uh, payment processor we take it uh, the same razor pay but we integrate on our own i will show you how in this video in detail so that you can understand in case if you wish to integrate any other payment platforms with uh, go high level we uh, please book a uh, uh, appointment through the link given in the description i'll happy to assist you uh, first let's go we have built an app uh, we have a we have a huge number of apps in the app marketplace go high level marketplace which is why you installed in multiple client locations or uh, we use these apps and we deliver this apps as a service so we don't charge apps as it is you can see and uh, we have variety of apps like wops uh, for whatsapp for workflow automations for third party integrations as well as for um, we have now launched for uh, payment uh, processing also we are also in the process of launching a separate app for voice integration for external platforms not just through Twilio. i will show you it in another video say first we have to install how we can install is like you can just go to this url ghl payment <coughs> and uh, it will i will show you the different locations uh, this, these are not public apps so uh, we are installing on demand basis we have to choose the right uh, uh, account like the sub account and once it's installed it will show like this just right it will show like this my app is going to be my custom payment this is just for to understand this is not the razor pay but we are also integrating the razor pay with go high level on our own not through the ghl way uh, so this is the app which we have installed in that particular sub account and once it is installed if you can you can just wait i will show you like uh, what the difference is going to be we have tested it in the name of razor pay integration but we i'm going to change it and because i'm just i have changed it to my custom payment the app name is changed to my custom payment it should be uh, more, uh, reflecting in this integrations part i will just show you how test comp allow you to take that uh, uh, access token and other things once that is done uh, you you are good to go you can integrate in any funnels like the way you used to do add products and then collect payment 
now the access token is done uh, the app is installed again and we should be able to have our app installed in this uh, sub account uh, we have installed our app and uh, this will reflect in the integration stay uh, tab of the payments where you can uh, choose the different uh, payment provide uh, payment options available like the app different apps for uh, paypal stripe and our custom app also we have installed our app and this app is called my custom payment that the same app we have used uh, in our uh, um, in, uh, which is listed in the markup place and once that is done you can you can see whether it is activated or not like we you have to have an option for live mode and test mode and uh, that this both has to be in green so that it can uh, uh, both uh, you can collect actually collect the payments for uh, in the live mode as well as in test mode once the integration is successful you could see that custom provider uh, yes live mode is enabled for our my custom payment and uh, then you are good to go you can add products and then you can add uh, add it to any funnel uh, you may wish and once that is done you can you are good to collect the payment let's uh, make a uh, test payment okay just let's wait let's go to that funnel test version we have to enable this live payment so that we can collect the live payments and let's get back to the funnel Now you can see that uh, the earlier it was showing like test mode or something like that. It was not uh, showing now. It's a real uh, live payment now. And once you click the complete uh, order thing, it uh, it allows you to make the payment through different options. Like in India, we have like this uh, UPA thing. Just click and verify payment. I have to authorize it here. I got a message in my phone to authorize the payment. Yeah, I have authorized uh, my Google Pay to accept that payment request and uh, my payment is completed. And uh, let it, uh, it shows that payment is successful and the page will be redirected to uh, our next page or next uh, whatever we have given okay here we i have redirected to the my website so it's the payment is successfully done now let's go to the transactions tab in the high level remember we have used the racer pay but we have not used the ghl integration we have custom developed the ghl integration using the same racer pay we can use away uh, any provider any payment provider uh, which has the support through api we can link yeah see my payment has been successfully recorded in the uh, ghl also i hope this video helps you in case if you wish to integrate your custom payment provider to ghl you please let us know we will happy to help that thanks for watching please consider subscribe channel bye